Jeff Hafley has been named the new head coach at Boston College, which means there is a vacuum at Ohio State. We got to talk about it after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You got to help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, Ken folks? RJ Young. I'm not on step. No, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today... Jeff Halfley was announced as the new head coach at Boston College. I don't think that's a great job. I wanted Jeff Halfley to remain at Ohio State because I think one of the, the moves that I hate to be seen being made more often than not is a coordinator at a top five program, a college football playoff, perennial power, a Big Ten power, an SEC power. There's no such thing as a Pac-12 power, a Big 12 power, whatever is a coordinator take loot, leaving that job to take what I think is a lesser job to be the head coach when maybe you should do what Kirby Smart did, which is to stick it out as one of the premier coordinators in all of college football and wait for your absolute dream job to become available, or at least a really, really good job. I think that also Kirby Smart is you know, the exception to the rule. He and Brent Venables, of course. Brent Venables has been a career position and coordinators coach First at Oklahoma, where he made his name, and then at Clemson, where he has become one of the greatest defensive coordinators this sport has seen. But that's really about it. Everybody else wants to either be the head man or make the money grab or whatever it might be. I don't necessarily think that's what's going on with Halfley. I think the dude just want to be a head coach, and that's great. However, it also means there's an opening for defensive coordinator at Ohio State for the second time. Two years. First time, Greg Schiano got fired. Jeff Halfley comes on with guys like Al Washington and all of a sudden, they're not operating on Shiano difficulty anymore. They are an outstanding defensive unit, particularly in the secondary. You'll remember, Paycom, Jim Thorpe Award finalist, Jeff Okuda is over there. So is Jordan Fuller. You know, I mean, they I Now, I also understand there are some folks that Ohio State fans would like to see get this job. I'm going to tell you what I think the top candidates ought to be for this job. I think that this is one of the premier coaching positions in college football and whomever gets hired to take this job is going to have to live with that. Now, I think Corey Raymond at LSU, secondary coach, cornerbacks coach, would be an outstanding get. I mean, you're seeing what he's able to do with Derek Stingley Jr., what he's been able to do with Christian Fulton. Year after year, they put out great defensive back play at LSU. I also understand that's a need at Ohio State. You want to have somebody with absolutely outstanding secondary experience back there to help you and to continue to be well, DBU too, because Alabama might fight you for that. But of late, we're not going to argue with Ohio State being one of the best defensive back programs in all of college football. We're just not, right? We're not here for that. We can we can talk about it, but I'm not here for that. I think that you would also have to back up a truck to go get Corey Raymond away from LSU. I also think that you could do that. I'm not sure that's a move that Ryan Day would want to make. But I do think that there are... Lots of other options that would suck in comparison, and I think Corey Raymond would be a good get. The next one is quite obviously Chris Ash, who was fired as the head coach at Rutgers in the middle of the season, but he's been mentioned as the next defense coordinator at Texas because he was, you know, on the same staff with Tom Herman when he was at Ohio State when they were doing big things, and 2014 was a really good year for Ohio State, you might remember. And Chris Ash is very familiar with secondary. He's very familiar with calling plays. And he knows what Ohio State Buckeyes defensive football is supposed to look like. And they got these outstanding recruiting classes coming in. They got these outstanding recruits that are coming in. I think Chris Ash would be an okay hire. I'm not terribly sold on it because I don't like retreads coming back to school to take over the coordinator position once again. Mike Stoops, anybody? But I would understand it if that was a move that Ryan Day wanted to make. But the guy that I think he should go get is a guy that, quite honestly, not a lot of people are high on except me, apparently. It's Marcus Freeman. He's the fit defensive coordinator at Cincinnati, all right? Marcus Freeman is 33. He's a year older than I am. He played linebacker at Ohio State. He played in the NFL, drafted in the fifth round. I know that he does not have the secondary experience that everybody wants him to have, but he is an experienced play caller, and he does put out an outstanding defense for the Bearcats for the last couple of years, and he is a protege of Luke Fickle, who, hello, was at Ohio State, though both of those guys live, breathe Ohio State. And I think Fickle would be in line for another job if he wanted to take one. But Marcus Freeman looks the part. He knows how to recruit. He is an 
upcoming rising star, and I would love to see a black defensive coordinator at Ohio State. I just think it would work for you. I think it would work to have a son be your defensive play caller as well. I wanted Marcus Freeman to get more looks for head coaching jobs during this latest go-round where the coaching carousel is once again spinning, but he didn't get a look from Memphis. He hasn't really gotten a look for the, he didn't get a look for the UTSA job. UNLV, hello, give the man a call. There, there are lots of places I think Marcus Freeman would have been a great fit, but none more so than right now at Ohio State as a coordinator because I think that's a better job than UNLV or even Memphis, especially if you're defensive-minded, and that guy is. I understand there's a lot of people that also think it would be a good hire like me because don't you have the secondary bearing at Ohio State already? Don't you have fellas that can help him out with that if that's actually something that needs to be done? I think that football coaches are football coaches, but I'm not going to go as far as to say that defensive play callers should be offensive play callers, but I do think that you could find somebody to help him out. I think Ryan Day should really take a look over there down in Cincinnati to see if he can just go and take that guy and install him. Yeesh, I, I, I could see a couple of other guys getting out there being interested in this job that you might want to go get, but outside of the the names you know, pickings are getting kind of slim because great defensive play callers are really difficult to find, and they usually take a head coaching job, see Jeff Halfley. So again, I think you should really take a look at Corey Raymond, at the quarterback's coach at LSU. He's been working under Dave Aranda, Bill Bush, at safety's coach. has been outstanding as well. I think you should take a look at Chris Ash, though, I think that's actually a better fit for Texas because, again, I'm not a fan of the retread, and I think that Tom Herman and Chris Ash know how to complement each other, and I think that's a better fit for him if he gets offered that job. But I love Marcus Freeman as a fit for Ohio State. I think that he knows what scheme will work. I think he knows what he's recruiting to, and he has that university in his blood now. You can do a whole hell of a lot worse than him. All right, that is it for me. Deuces.